Hi everyone, it's Gregory Scott here. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to draw three cards to give you an insight into what you'll be working with today. So, card one, card two, and card three. All right, so three reverse cards. So there's a real shift of energy from what things were like yesterday. Yesterday was very much about creating something you care about and really enjoying success with it. Now we change gears a little bit. And the first card that we've got is the sun. We've got a very kind of buff looking guy there with a deer head for some reason and these kind of antlers. And that's in reverse. And the sun is very much about feeling warm and powerful and energetic and like you're doing what you care about. You know, enjoying a, a, a sunny day, the, the sun being a masculine energy, it's that drive to achieve. And that's in reverse. So what that means is that that creative energy of um, making something new pushing your will forward out into the world and doing something it's kind of becoming less that urge and that drive is abating a little bit the next card in reverse is the seven of chalices and you can see this young girl holding on to that butterfly there and really her dreams are coming true so what that means is as the day progresses you suffer a disappointment in some way something doesn't go to plan something turns out differently than what you'd imagined and things are different than, than you would like them to be or the way you perceive them starting out. And then finally, the Six of Swords in reverse. This is good that this is in reverse because the Six of Swords represents a period of recovery. So what that means is that the disappointment you suffer, you handle really well. You don't need a period of time to recover from this to get over it. It's a minor thing and you really roll with the punches. You just kind of go through this day, you handle what comes your way. And it's probably a good thing that you're not feeling super kind of buff and masculine and even kind of horny as this guy is. Because what that means is that you don't overreact and you don't get really aggressive when things don't go your way. You just take things as they are and you accept them. As I say, acceptance is the answer to all your problems. Let's look at the numbers. We've got uh, 19 and 7, which is 26. And then we've got another 6, which is... 32, 3 and 2 is 5. And 5 in numerology means freedom. So you have emotional freedom today despite your circumstances. So really embrace that and know that nothing can touch you on this day and that you can remain complete and whole and, you know, with a sense of peace of mind within yourself and nothing can really harm you in any way. Have a fantastic day. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like to get in touch with me, please have a look at my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.